Hey everybody, it's me. Thank you, happy to be here. Once again, taste testing, new stuff. Two snaps and a clap. Yeah. Clean, clean. Man, I'm feeling mean. Billy Jean with the lean. That's another green. What I've got right here is a Maz, A M A Z. Amazon plant-based elixir. This is their Tropical Boost Gorana and Katuba uh, Adaptogen Powered. It's all natural, it says. Uh, Gorana Seed is an amazing stimulant and energy booster traditionally used to enhance athletic and mental performance. Hashtag to Katuyu, Kat, Katuyu Aba Bark, the people of the rainforest use this plant as a tonic to balance and strengthen overall body function. We support ethical sourcing from regenerative agroforestry. Uh, let's see here. Ancient secrets from the Amazon rainforest, plant-based elixir. <clears throat> Serving size is a bottle. Oh, there's some sediment in there. I think I'm supposed to shake it up. Serving size is one bottle, you get 80 calories, zero fat, 20 milligrams of sodium, which is only 1% of your daily recommended value, uh, 19 grams of carbs, which is 7% of your daily recommended value, 14 grams of that is sugar, uh, less than a gram of protein, and 4% potassium. Ingredients, water, oh no, kukuaku puree, apple juice, Kaja puree, banana puree, suma root extract, dried beet, green coffee extract, katuaba bark extract, marapuama bark extract, guarana extract, dried kum. Ku, Kam u ka mu. There you go. Anyway. Let's shake this up. Let's get into this. Oh wait, did I did I already say how much I paid for this? This was Tropical Boost, is it that okay, Tropical Boost. They just listed as Tropical Boost. It was fifty cents. I might have already said that. So let's hopefully this isn't carbonated because it's gonna go all over me. Okay, there we go. Whoa, that's got a smell to it, that's for sure. Putting it in a glass of ice. Let me let it chill for a second. What what is that smell? Let me I don't know if I can really describe it. Whoa. Yeah, it is strong. Um, maybe kind of almost like a coffee, but with something else in there. It's not strictly coffee. Now the phone's ringing. What else could, what else noise could we include in this noise salad of a video that I'm making? Cheers. Whoa. That is interesting. Um, there's, a, there's some sourness to it. I don't know how to really describe that. It does taste kind of like a vegetable drink. A little bit of saltiness to it, some tang. It's not super strong, but it's different. Not necessarily in a bad way. I think I'd have to get used to it because I cannot really describe what it tastes like. I mean, there's nothing in my head that I can reference it to that, that would be adequate because it's it, it tastes vegetable-y, I guess you would say. Almost like, almost like a V8 kind of without the acidity, I guess, of like the tomatoes. Like a, like a dull V8. Like I said, not bad either. It's just not something that I'm used to. But um, do I think there's value in it? Yes. At 50 cents, uh, a... Jar? 
going to be all kinds of weird noises going on through this video. Yeah, per bottle, per bottle. I couldn't think for a second. Uh, at 50 cents per bottle, I think it's worth at least trying it out. You're, you're going to lose 50 cents if you don't like it. Uh, and if you do like it, hey, you just found yourself a cheap drink. That's where I'm at with this one. I don't think it's bad, but um, not overly excited about it. But maybe it's got some health benefits and I'll be feeling better about my choice after I've ingested and, and my body's had a chance to absorb all the nutrient goodness of this drink. But at 50 cents again, I'm going to give it my thumbs up and recommend that you at least try it to see if you guys like it. Um, leave a comment on my video. Make a recommendation on what you think you think I should be trying next. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.